Hi everyone, I'm Brankitza and this is my learning object for DL5013, the digital learner. Today I'm going to show you how to use the web 2.0 tool, BrainPop. BrainPop is an online tool that features short animated clips that introduce concepts in all the different content areas. So let's begin. First things first, we're going to open up our internet browser. Today I'm going to be using Google Chrome but you're more than welcome to use Mozilla Firefox, Internet Explorer, or for the other Mac users, Safari. We're going to go up here to our address bar. We're going to type in our website, which is www.brainpop.com. Here is the home page to BrainPop. If you are already a subscribed user, you can go to the top right-hand corner and log in, or you can sign up. Unfortunately, BrainPop is not a free service, but most school districts are willing to purchase the license. So we're going to go right up here, click on Login, and type in my username and my password. Once I have done that, I'm going to click the Go button. Now we have entered the home page of BrainPop. Here you have two options. You can go to the search bar in the top left hand corner and type in the topic in which you're looking for or you can click on the different content areas and see what they have. Today I'm going to be searching about the heart. So I'm going to type in heart into the search bar and these are all of the different options that come up. I'm going to pick the first one. Click on that and then I'm going to click the go button. The next screen that comes up is the results screen. Here are all the different videos that BrainPop has accessible to the heart. Well, I'm just going to go here and I'm going to pick the very first one and go from there. Once Moby's hand has completely stretched out, the video has loaded. Go ahead and click here to play the movie. So, I hear you have a letter for me. Oh, oh a, a love letter. And it's not even Valentine's Day. Of course it's a Valentine. Look at the envelope. Oh, dear Tim and Moby. Sometimes when I'm playing hockey, my heart beats so loud I can hear it. What's that all about? From Lana. Every Tim and Moby clip begins with a letter sent in from a viewer. They then spend the next three to four minutes explaining and answering the question that was posed. What's really great about these video clips is that they're really short and to the point. They're bright and they're colorful. They show different images and explain to their viewers exactly what they need to know. At the end of each video clip, they have a couple different options for the teacher and the audience to choose from. Four different options you have to choose from is taking a quiz, reading more, trying the activity, or getting answers to different questions that were posed. Let's take a look at the activity they have to offer. Here, the viewer has the option of labeling the different parts of the heart. There is also a section down here that allows them to do a little bit more research and figure out what exactly a heart murmur is. There's a graphic organizer in which they can organize the information they just learned from Tim and Moby, or they can take the different vocabulary in which they have been given and create flashcards. In order to get back to that page, we can click on the heart up here at the top and see the different options. We can go back and take a quiz, look at the different information that was posed, or look at some more questions that the audience has sent in. And that's BrainPop. Thanks for watching and I hope you learned how to use it.